Are you getting frustrated writing long if statements or switches for your colliders when you could just do that with a click? Hi, I'm Cory Code and let's jump right in. I have organized my colliders by their roles, which can be used as Lego blocks to build complex solutions like the player. However, what if we don't want friendly fire or traps should only damage players but not monsters? Should the monsters be able to open doors even? Unity has a great support to achieve this using layers. First, I need to add new layers for each type of collider rows. We have immovable objects will be an impossible object layer, as well as some other objects like the non-pointy end of the trap. Movable objects we can split into players layer and mobs layer. I add interactable, action, an event as is. All of these affect the player only in my game. Have we kept our damage collider code unified? Here is the right place to split into different layers. Player damage, mob damage, environmental damage. I can now assign these layers to different game objects with colliders. Players will be player's layer, player weapon to player damage, player action collider set as an action, Fireballs as player damage. Monsters set as mobs. Their bites or claws or projectiles as mob damage layer. Traps point the end as environmental damage. The rest of it is simply impossible. Poison cloud or lava is also good candidate for environmental damage. After you set up all your game objects, come the fun bit. It's pure magic, honestly. Go to Edit, Project Settings, Physics or Physics 2D, depending on if you are making a 2D or 3D game. Here you can find the mighty layer collision matrix. As a default, everything is affecting everything, which is not what we want. You could disable all and only take the ones what you need. Impossible objects should block both players and mobs. Tick and tick. Can a player damage affect mobs? Tick. Mobs damage can affect players? Tick. Can players damage each other? Not a tick. Or if you like friendly fire, then tick it. How about environmental damage? Will that affect mobs or only players? Tick. Can the players pass each other or will they block each other movement? What about mobs against mobs? I think you are understand now how powerful layer collision matrix is and you see you will never need to write one more if statement. This is my collider strategy for my game Dungeon Run. I hope you will take good use of it. I talk so much about writing simple reusable code for damage and other colliders, so better if I make a video on that topic as well. The link should be here as soon as the video is ready. Please subscribe to get notifications for future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.